guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my back to school supplies haul and I'm going to be going into the ninth grade and most of my supplies are from Target. So I'll sh start by showing you my backpack. So my backpack was from Tilly's and I don't know what brand this is but I've seen this on a lot of things. So if you know what the brand is, put in the comments and then on, on the backpack I have this Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer in this cute popsicle light up case. And the scent is pink grapefruit pop. It smells really good. And then on the back, this little charm came with it. It says US Military NYC 1920. Our two pockets, a big one and a little one. So we'll start in the big one. So to open it, you unbutton these two. And then there's a drawstring. So you pull this out and then you stretch this out. So most of my supplies are blue and that's my favorite color so you'll see a trend. And like I said, all my supplies are from Target. So first in my bag is this seven pocket expanding organizer. Uh, so obviously there's seven pockets and inside I have five star college rule paper. And I also have five star graph paper and then the next thing in my backpack is a five a white five star five subject notebook which I'm going to use for science Spanish English and social studies and math and it's got a little bit of room to write and then it's got a folder with two pockets and it's really cool because it has this like plastic coating on it so it won't rip which is really nice and it's college rule so that's good then I got this one inch binder it's just blue and it's three rings and there's two little pockets right here so I could put papers or anything I need there of course every girl's got to have her mirror and her locker so I have that and you can see my EOS stand <laughs> and I'm recording on my iPhone so then I have this gold ruler metal ruler from Target it's just a standard ruler and then next thing I have is up my pencil case which is from Vera Bradley and inside I have a sharpie highlighter which has a little view on it so you can know when to stop when you're highlighting something so you don't go over to the next words and I have this just blue generic brand highlighter and I have a blue pen and then I have a ultra fine point sharpie point sharpie and then I have this green up and up uh, pencil sharpener from Target and then I have these two, these three Bore rollerball pens. I have a pink, a red, and a blue. I love these pens, They're so, they write so nicely. And then I have the uh, orange and purple erasable pens, which are really nice in case you make a mistake, you don't have to get your white out. So then I have this orange highlighter from Kinko's shout out shout out to Kinko's um, and then I have this little baby stapler and what's really cool about it is it's got a staple remover and on the bottom it has a little storage so you can put whatever you want in there you can put like money or uh, pencil eraser or anything which is really cool and then I have this miniature Sharpie and the Sharpie lower off. And then I have this infinity blue marker. And then I have this Bic purple pen, which is really cool and the writing is really nice. And then I have, and then I have three Pilot G207 black pens. And then inside I have two red acro ball pens and then I have a blue paper mate pen I have some blue 
yellow, pink, and dark pink regular pencils. And I have one green Yobi or Yubi green highlighter. Then I have three extra erasers for my mechanical pencils. And I have some Paper Mate 0.7 lead for my mechanical pencils. And then on to my lunchbox, which is from Tory Burch. And I bought this a couple years ago. But I didn't really use it much. Um, so it, inside it's just white and it comes with this thermos. It's got the symbol up there. You just unscrew it and then there's this other top that you just take out to make sure all the heat stays inside. You can have like hot cocoa, coffee, tea, or you can have soup in there and just like drink it. And then at Target I bought these rubber made lunch box containers so I can put whatever I want to eat in there and I can bring it to school so I have two of these little ones I have two little ones and then what's really cool is so there's this ice pack and it comes off and you put it on top of here which is the bigger container so it keeps whatever is in here cool and then you can take these out to wash them it's just a clear container and it all just closes and then this sticks on here and this one I think is broken or something because it doesn't want to stick it just keeps falling off but it should all stick onto here and then these little ones go right here. And then the, it should all stick and it won't fall off. So that's going to go in my lunchbox. Now I'll and show you my books that are required for school. So for English, I have Romeo and Juliet. And then for World Cultures, I have a Classroom Atlas. For Spanish, I have a workbook, two workbooks and a hardcover book. And then for Algebra 1, I'm taking Algebra 1, and I have this huge Algebra 1 textbook. It's hardcover. And then for Earth Science, ugh, I have this big hardcover textbook. And so I also have the House on Mango Street, which is required to have Pobre Ana for Spanish, Lord of the Flies, and I have elsewhere and I had to read this for over the summer for the first day of school and I really loved it and if you haven't read this book I really recommend it it was I thought that I wasn't gonna like it very much but I ended up really enjoying the book and it's elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin and it's a really good book and the review by the New York Times was Every so often a book comes along with a premise so fresh and arresting it seems to exist in a category all its own. The New York Times Book Review, which is pretty good. So if you haven't read that book, I really recommend it. And that's it for my 2015 School Supplies Haul, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment below of your favorite item that I bought, and you can leave a link to your school supplies hauls and I'll totally check them out don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time bye